Hello, and welcome to this week's Penn Energy News Update. On behalf of our generous sponsor, Deloitte Center for Energy Solutions, who made this broadcast possible, I'm Hilton Price. The latest estimates of shale natural gas reserves in the U.S. are drastically lower than past estimates. Projections released by the U.S. Department of Energy estimate that the country holds around 482 trillion cubic feet of recoverable natural gas from shale basins. That's a 42 percent decline from the year before. The declines stem from more detailed information available now than in previous years. Despite the decrease, the Department of Energy estimates natural gas production will rise even higher than previously predicted, despite the smaller resource base. The Obama administration has announced the Department of Interior's Bureau of Ocean Energy Management will hold a consolidated Central Gulf of Mexico lease sale in New Orleans on June 20th of this year. The sale will include all available unleased areas in the central planning area offshore Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. The proposed lease sale includes approximately 7,250 unleased blocks, covering nearly 38 million acres. The president says this is one of many steps being taken to increase responsible domestic production and reduce dependence on foreign oil. This lease sale is the last remaining sale scheduled in the 2007 to 2012 Outer Continental Shelf Oil and Natural Gas Leasing Program. The Department of the Interior is finalizing the next five-year program for 2012 to 2017. Petrobras says it detected a rupture along a production column at an oil platform located off the coast of Sao Paulo. The company says the well was automatically shut down by the safety system when the rupture was detected. A preliminary estimate indicates that 160 barrels of oil may have spilled. Petrobras says there is no possibility of the oil reaching the Brazilian coast. The company has informed several agencies about the incident, including the Brazilian Navy and the Brazilian National Agency of Petroleum, Natural Gas and Biofuels. The cause of the incident is under investigation. After weeks of dispute, the East African nation of Sudan has released three oil tankers with shipments from South Sudan. Sudan had been preventing the departure of the tankers and the several million barrels of South Sudanese crude oil they carried as the countries continued to argue over the appropriate transit fees to charge for use of the country's ports. The decision to release the tankers came despite continuing failure to make any progress in those negotiations. A number of U.S. firms have joined TransCanada Corporation in stating how they will create thousands of American jobs building the Keystone XL pipeline. The companies came forward to reinforce the idea that construction of the privately financed $7 billion oil pipeline means work for their employees during a period when the American economy needs jobs. TransCanada has said since 2010 that Keystone XL will create 13,000 construction jobs to build the pipeline, while manufacturers providing the materials to construct the line could create an additional 7,000 jobs. Operating and maintaining the pipeline would provide thousands more jobs, according to TransCanada. Keystone XL has the capacity to deliver 830,000 barrels of oil per day to refineries in Cushing, Oklahoma, and the U.S. Gulf Coast. The most recent proposal for the pipeline has been denied by the Obama administration. TransCanada does have the option to submit a new proposal. Thank you for joining us this week. For these stories and more, go to penenergy.com. <laughs>